Got him. You just drift, let it open the bale. Throw it out, you let it kind of. You throw it out, you let it bounce. And the uh, first thing you're going to feel is a slight tick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mag draft or which one? I don't fish a lot. Alright, there goes a tick. There goes two ticks. Unless I'm hitting the bottom. So that's gonna be okay, that's fish. Hang All right. on. Tell me when. So you don't want to be too quick about it. Get him. Jerk. There you go. There you <laughs> just want to let him eat. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like as soon as they bite. Yeah, it's not like a bass. I figured that. No, oh, exactly. this was pulling. Oh, he came off. Come off. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. There he is. Like that. Oh, first cast, baby. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Man, oh. he got some. There we go. You got a little hang up with that sink going to fix you up. I promise I've been fishing before. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to happen. I'd have known in about two seconds He's when I was. a professional bluegill fisherman. <laughs> dude, me too. <laughs> Sweet. See you at the classic. Yeah, right. <laughs> we love park fishing. <clears throat> All right, round two. Did right before you turned around. <laughs> um, top. Yeah. So actually, uh, during the shad kill, um, you get shad all over the water column, on the bottom, in the middle, on top. And when it's right, they, those fish will bust up top. One thing, my little boy, but they, they've got some big browns in there. I've caught one. Of, my biggest one was right at nine pounds. That's but that's awesome. a pretty good one there. You know? Yeah, absolutely. The biggest think, one I've ever caught personally was nine and a half. Yeah. So I mean, I've had a 16 and a 13 caught in my boat, but. And I caught that nine on the uh, on a fly rod with a uh, zebra nymph on the back. No way. I had a woolly book, and I was like, my God, that zebra nymph is tiny, tiny. Yeah. And that sucker boy, I thought I was never going to be. Got him. So typically on higher water. Got him. On higher water, you know, cut the visibility down. So on the slower water, you know. That's fish. That's it was crazy that y'all like yeah, you've done pretty good with it eating the stuff with baby, seems like. A whole lot better I thought I thought you were gonna be in the bathroom the whole time with you. You thought I was gonna what? Be in the bathroom the whole time with you. Yeah. I mean, it still might affect me a little bit in the next day or so. You ain't out of water, kid. Yeah. That's crazy. My stomach felt a little queasy this morning. I was worried about you, though. I was like, man, God, I'm not even going to eat like cheese. I eat like all natural foods and stuff all the time. Wholesome and, ingredients. Yeah. I respect that. On this trip, there hasn't been any of that except yeah, for the no, stuff. It's the complete wholesome. opposite it's, of that. Yeah, except for the stuff that I brought. MSG, processed foods. Oh, yeah. And so it's those chemicals, so, you, so you're familiar, it's those chemicals that, that they're not, I'm, my body's not used to them, so I get them in there and they do all sorts of stuff to me. Don't, yo, don't get me wrong, I definitely eat, but I have also not before. Right, And right. I know what it's like to be on that diet and then eat McDonald's once, gosh, you feel awful. Oh, yeah. Golly. Like you got, you get yeah, yeah. Well, it, it makes you realize what you've been going through yeah how much realizing it yeah it makes you realize all the chemicals how, how bad they are for your body Absolutely. that they're putting in the food yeah you lasso him lassoed him We ate at Gaston's. I had never got to eat there before. It was fun the first night. Cool, cool Thank looking you. restaurant. 
I ate two things that were fried, and that's probably probably ten years since I've eaten uh, anything that's fried. I don't like breaded as much anything. Uh, we had those cheese curds there, my God. And then what was the other things that pop or the, po uh, the poppers, the jalapeno popper, poppers, trout poppers or something? Yeah, trout <coughs> poppers. They were good. That jelly on there, man. Incredible. See, I didn't do the jelly because I didn't know what was in the jelly. Never, yeah. <laughs> Some people make the jelly a little different. Yeah. All right, here's eight cups of sugar, and yeah. that that would have hit me and been like, no, that what did you think? I don't know. I mean, I honestly didn't even take a look at it because I knew I wasn't going to eat them, so I didn't want to see them. They they were setting them down. I never even looked over. I think you sung your trip off. Did I? I? Well, unless it, you may not have, but it looked like. Taking 30 seconds, saving five minutes. Boom. Good eye, Jacob. Yeah, nice yeah. I was like, I appreciate you swimming flying. Why did anybody feel like I can't see the bottom? I realized my thing was just dangling right over the side. I didn't even have it in the water. <laughs> I was like, man, I can't feel the bottom. He's like, uh, bro, you, you gotta ain't put your stuff in the water. water. I was like, oh, hey, you've been there, done that. And I was just exhausted, dude. I was like, man, it's a, you don't realize how yeah. three days of this, and we were doing like full. Yeah, I feel waterlogged today, like because yeah. all the because we were so wet last night and I was so cold. That's why I turned the heat up. Yeah, hold this, hold this. There you go. Real. Oh, he's a jumper. I thought he was jumping in the boat for a second. Rainbow trout. Man, I was going wide open up past Cotter the other day and a rainbow jumped in my boat. Dang. That's cool. Weird. Must have been suicidal. It's crazy someone just fight with it. I think I'm telling him oh, he's well, getting caught. Well, no, 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 no. I thought he was caught. Quick release. Another quick release. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So what makes you choose shrimp over corn this time of year? Sir? Man. <clears throat> You're not a corn guy? I try not to fish corn if I don't have to. It's probably not as good for the fish. It's not. It's just like us. Hey, boy. It's just something to catch them and then it don't do it. Got them. Oh, did he come off? Nope, there this he is. This is lean protein. Yeah, know. good for him. And uh, I think you catch a little better fish off the front than you do off the corn. <clears throat> now, you may catch, in a in a full day or a half day, you may catch 10 or 20 more. Yeah. But they're all going to be the smallest fish you can imagine. Oh, come on. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Oh. Just oh. a little late. Yeah. Oh, oh. He's back at it. Get him. Uh, got. Oh, he pulled it. Out. So weird. Oh, moss. There's oh, it was mossy, mossy. One of them big moss fish down there. Would you like a little salad with your shrimp? Oh, he came off again? You are into that. Yeah, I got a little. You are into that quick release. Him in the face. He's trying to build dance him in the boat yep, now. I was going to, I was going to Ike and Elliot and jump on his little <laughs> motor back here, see? Oh. They're just playing with you. That's a pretty good little drift out there. Get him. Ah. They're playing with me too, man. Got him. 
It's actually shallower right here. Okay. And so I think that's what you're seeing. Is that water moving faster over the shallow bottom? We're out of the dock fishing and we heard. Oh yeah. I looked at Jacob. Was that a snort? <laughs> I think I said, did you fart? Yeah, he's like, what's that? And then it kept doing it. We're like, oh. it could easily be a hog on that side of the river. That's what I was wanting. I thought that's what it sounded like. Like you're gonna have mountain lions, black bears pigs on that side i got you i'm watching you i'm not that guy <laughs> let me make a cast <laughs> crankbait in the ear yeah Take it. Under 14. Under 14. Double. Well, you can have one. You can either have five under 14, or you can have four under 14 and one over. So you can have one big rainbow. We don't keep one. You know he's gonna shake himself off just by how active he was. Yeah. And a lot of times, I'm not gonna deal with them when they're that spastic. Yeah. And a lot of times they'll do the work for me, so I wait for them to calm down, and then uh, I'll handle them. And if they freak out, I'll hold them over the water. You know. Yeah. The old school build pump right there. <laughs> Is that build manual or automatic? Oh, it's automatic. <laughs> it's 07 model. <laughs> Bought it brand new. Running strong. Get him. There he is. Get him. 
Mm. I thought I had one too. That's a pretty one. Oh, yeah. Quick release. Got it. Yeah, wait. I guess we came in February last year because mm -hmm. we fished with sculpins and those minnows or whatever. You can't so scoping year round. Just there, easy to. Pretty well. well dude, Look at this on. one. Yeah. Just, Turn your thing on. Yeah. 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 Just hold it. All right. Don't keep that drag pretty loose. All right. Don't all right. tighten it too hard. Uh, That's. Mm. Dang it. I'm trying to loosen it. It looks pretty loose. Huh? Why he didn't? Dude, that was How big do you one. think it you was? See? Yeah. Did you not see him jump? Right? Uh uh. Oh, dude. <laughs> he was bigger than Trent's tri uh, rainbow yesterday. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I should say that. Man, I was trying to get to my dragon time. He just, as soon as he hit, he went straight up in there. I was like, oh. He's like this, dude. Right. He's every bit of that. Oh, wow. Now he's got a hook in about. That's probably good. No, he got my, oh. I got my hook back. He just pulled it out. But I was trying to get him back down. But... I knew it was something when he jumped up. Oh yeah, well, I, as soon as, I mean, I barely set the hook and he just shot straight up in the air like four feet. Will it make you mad if I go over here and get him? No, <laughs> I hope you do. Yeah, he's bigger than the one Trent so, yesterday. So, on a trout like that, he gets hooked, he comes off, how long is it before he bites again? May not bite the rest of the day. Yeah. A big, big fish, Yeah. fish over 10 pounds, may not bite the rest of the week. Yeah. And, I watched these studies on bass fishing and they were talking about that some of these fish, to, these bass fish to get caught, uh, small mouth and large mouth. If they go through the weigh in process and all that, they may not eat for a week afterwards. Yeah. That is definitely smaller than the last one. <laughs> That's fish stick size right there, son. Oh yeah. He took it. Yeah. Came back for it. That's it. Yeah. Get him. Oh, that was a fair bite. But I know what you mean. Like here, your you're, one of your worst days, like in four hours, is like catching twenty fish. Oh yeah. You know, like oh, I don't know what we got here. Just hold that tension. He's getting smaller. <laughs> Just a little guy. Well, he's not horrible. Oh no, you do. I do. He's like a mix of a foot bee almost. Right. That's a look at the spots on that. So mm -hmm. go back to it. It's a good. But evidently, that boy that didn't have to take people today, he like they said he just likes going for the big ones a lot. Oh, Craig, that's like his Man. thing, I guess. In my opinion, Craig's one of the best brown trout fishermen on this river. Yeah, no doubt. He's, I mean, he knew exactly like. He's taught me a lot. Yeah, he knew exactly where to go for him. I was like, dang, dude. He's, and everybody was like, how have y'all caught? Because I caught eight. Yeah. The two days we went with him, and I was like, man, this is fun. And everybody was like, man, I caught one or I caught one. And the boy that was in the boat with me never caught. He caught one brown trout the whole time, and it was like, dang. yeah. And I ended up catching two over twenty, and then he one listened. over twenty four. Because he listened. Oh yeah, and I was like, man, this is awesome. But I wanted to, like, right. I told my buddy, I was like, man, we'll go four, 
we maybe not catch anything. So. But we might catch a good one. Yep. Yeah. No, Craig, he's he's taught a lot of people a lot. Man, that he's also uh there ain't no reason why you should not try your best. He's hitting it. He's hitting it. And then he rigged that sucker's up. Come on. Went yep. straight to the dam. There he is. That's cool. But it was a whole lot deeper water. I mean, it's, yeah. What is it? He was asking me what the average depth is. Little brown. Oh, brown. look at that little guy. And he's a completely. Yes, your first brown. Yeah. yeah. First brown. That's going to be one of those stalker browns, but that's about your oh, color man. scheme. Red dots, gold belly. Got him.